Why do so many people around the world hate America? This question isn't just about casual disapproval. It's rooted in deep historical, cultural, and political contexts. From global protests and critical headlines to heated debates on social media, anti-American sentiment or Americanophobia is widespread. Post 9-11 foreign policy has impacted global views of the United States. The invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq, along with drone strikes in countries like Pakistan and Yemen, have fueled anti-American sentiments. The Iraq War in particular, with its massive civilian casualties and long-term political instability, has been a major source of global criticism. The roots of anti-American sentiment can be traced back to the 19th and early 20th centuries, when the United States engaged in colonialism and imperialism. For instance, after the Spanish-American War in 1898, the Philippines became an American colony. The brutal suppression of the Philippine-American War, 1899-1902, left a legacy of bitterness. In Latin America, the Monroe Doctrine and the Roosevelt Corollary established the U.S. as a dominant force, leading to interventions in Cuba, Puerto Rico, Panama and Nicaragua, fostering resentment and mistrust. During the Cold War, the global rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union significantly shaped perceptions. The US supported numerous controversial regimes to counter Soviet influence, such as in Iran with the 1953 coup, which overthrew the democratically elected Prime Minister Mohammad Mossadegh and installed the Shah. In Latin America, interventions like the CIA-backed coup in Guatemala in 1954 and the support for Pinochet in Chile in 1973 left deep scars. The United States' steadfast support for Israel, especially amid the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, significantly fuels anti-American sentiment in the Middle East and Asia. Many people in the region perceive American policies as heavily biased towards Israel, viewing them as unjust and one-sided. This perception intensifies regional tensions and fosters resentment towards the US government. Understanding this dynamic is crucial to grasping the broader geopolitical landscape and the roots of anti-Americanism in the Middle East and Asia. U.S. foreign policies and actions have significantly shaped global perceptions. Military interventions, such as those in Vietnam, Iraq and Libya, are criticized for causing instability and suffering. The Vietnam War, with involvement of United States, 1955 to 1975, followed a prolonged conflict resulting in significant destruction and loss of life as the United States supported South Vietnam against the communist North Vietnamese and Viet Cong. The war caused immense suffering, with approximately 2 million civilian deaths, around 1.1 million North Vietnamese and Viet Cong soldiers killed, and South Vietnamese military casualties estimated at 250,000 to 300,000 the U.S. lost about 58,220 soldiers. The U.S. military's use of Agent Orange led to severe health problems, including cancers and birth defects, and long-term environmental damage. After the war, Vietnam faced economic sanctions and isolation from the international community, particularly from Western countries, including the U.S., contributing to prolonged economic hardship and resentment. The United States often promotes democracy and human rights while supporting certain authoritarian regimes or policies that contradict these values. This perceived hypocrisy undermines American credibility on the global stage. Economic sanctions are a significant tool in US foreign policy, intended to pressure governments into changing their behaviors. However, these sanctions often hurt ordinary citizens more than the targeted regimes breeding resentment towards the US, for example. Sanctions on countries like Iran and Venezuela have led to severe economic hardships for their populations. On the flip side, American foreign aid, although intended as humanitarian assistance, is frequently viewed with suspicion. Many recipients see it as a means for the US to exert political and economic influence, rather than as a gesture of goodwill, leading to skepticism about American motives. American corporations dominate global markets, leading to accusations of exploitation and exacerbating economic inequality. Practices by these multinational companies are often viewed as prioritizing profit over people, which fuels resentment worldwide. 
For instance, sweatshop labor and environmental degradation in developing countries are frequently linked to U.S. corporate operations. The 2008 financial crisis, triggered by the collapse of major U.S. financial institutions, had catastrophic global repercussions, further damaging America's economic reputation. This crisis exposed the vulnerabilities of global capitalism and highlighted the perceived recklessness of American financial practices. U.S. trade policies can sometimes have detrimental effects on other countries, contributing to economic imbalances. For example, American agricultural subsidies make U.S. products cheaper on the international market, which can severely impact farmers in developing countries who cannot compete with the subsidized prices. This has led to accusations of unfair trade practices, as these policies are seen as protecting American interests at the expense of others, perpetuating economic disparities. The portrayal of the United States in media plays a crucial role in shaping international perceptions. American media often emphasizes stories of success, innovation, and the American dream. However, International media outlets frequently focus on different narratives, such as foreign policy mistakes, social injustices, and domestic turmoil. This contrast in coverage can create a disparity between how Americans view their country and how it is perceived abroad. Such differences can lead to misunderstandings and resentment, as global audiences may view the US through a more critical lens. Prominent social issues in the United States like racism, gun violence, and political polarization significantly impact its global image. Incidents of police brutality, such as the killing of George Floyd, and mass shootings like those in schools and public places, receive extensive international coverage and contribute to negative perceptions. These issues highlight the contradictions within American society, where ideals of freedom and equality are often undermined by persistent social problems. The visibility of these issues in global media exacerbates anti-American sentiment and diminishes the appeal of the American model for many around the world. Experiences of immigrants and travelers in the United States are often a mixed bag. Many laud the country for its opportunities and freedoms, such as the ability to pursue education and career advancement. However, others encounter significant challenges, including systemic racism, economic inequality, and cultural misunderstandings, which shape their views negatively. Immigrants, in particular, may struggle with integration into American society, facing issues like discrimination and lack of social support. These personal challenges influence not only their perceptions, but also those of people in their home countries, often leading to a more critical view of the United States. Understanding these personal experiences and media influences is essential for grasping the complex nature of anti-American sentiment. They provide a human context to the broader geopolitical and economic factors, revealing how individual stories and media narratives shape global perceptions of the United States. The pervasive global presence of American culture, driven by Hollywood movies, fast food chains and consumerism, is often viewed as cultural imperialism. This cultural export tends to overshadow and marginalize local traditions and values. For instance, the global dominance of American fast food chains like McDonald's and Starbucks can be seen as a threat to local cuisines and food traditions. Similarly, Hollywood's portrayal of American life and values can influence global audiences, sometimes at the expense of local cultures and stories. This cultural dominance can create a sense of cultural invasion, leading to negative perceptions of American influence. The spread of American brands and lifestyles through globalization is frequently seen as another form of cultural imperialism. While some people embrace these changes, others resist, feeling that their cultural identities are being eroded. The backlash against globalization often targets American influence as a primary driver of this perceived cultural homogenization. Local communities may feel that their unique traditions, languages, and ways of life are being overshadowed by a dominant American culture, leading to resentment and anti-American sentiment. American exceptionalism is the belief that the United States is fundamentally different from other nations, often seen as superior. While this belief fosters national pride, it can also be perceived as arrogance, contributing to negative perceptions abroad. 
The notion that America has a unique mission to lead and transform the world can come across as patronizing and dismissive of other cultures' values and perspectives. This attitude can alienate other nations and foster resentment, as it implies a lack of respect for their sovereignty and traditions. Understanding these cultural clashes is crucial for grasping the broader picture of anti-Americanism. The imposition of American cultural values and the perception of cultural arrogance contribute significantly to the negative views held by many around the world. Recognizing and respecting cultural diversity is essential in addressing these issues and fostering more positive international relationships. We've explored the historical context, cultural clashes, political reasons, economic factors, and personal experiences that contribute to Americanophobia. It's a complex and multifaceted phenomenon with deep roots and varied manifestations. It's important to offer a balanced view, acknowledging both the valid criticisms and the positive aspects of the United States. While there are many reasons for negative feelings, it's equally important to recognize America's contributions to global progress, innovation, and humanitarian efforts. We encourage you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.